Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories with your host, Just Chuchin. Just Chuchin along with you. So, um, we did some farming. We are trying to farm Metamage. We were trying to get something out of it. We were trying to farm other people. We were trying to take out the mages. We got down through the Desert Mage, and we got down through the... We're out. So there's still... There's still a uh, Forest Mage, and there's still Meadow Mage to complete. And then last time, we tried to beat the Labyrinth uh, Mage, and we had no luck. So I'm actually going to go and try to just see if we can beat the uh, the, Mabrin the Labyrinth Mage one time, just to see if we can add him to the um, to our free duel roster. But, um, yeah, let's do that. Leap Shop. Pharaoh's Palace. Surely nothing's going down in my old pad. There's nobody here. Enter. Used to be Simon's room. Everything's destroyed. Oh, cocksucker. Where did I run into these guys? I swear to God I ran into them. Where did I run into them? Was it here? It was the sacred temple. Be gone. Well, did I just dream it? How did I find this guy? Shrine of Glory, Sea Shrine. I mean, it wasn't any... I didn't go to King's Valley. I wouldn't do that. Man, maybe that's that. Maybe I just don't... Uh, maybe I don't have access to that fight again right now. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, what if I go card shop and then... Ferris Palace. I'm sorry that, like, I, uh... Oh, shoot, didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry that I genuinely treat this like some, like, I'm trying to hear making discoveries and shit, but, like, I'm making discoveries and shit. That's how I feel about it. Chooch, we got some trouble. Set it, there we go. They came, they took Tiana. They they want you to... I can't, I can't do it right now. Uh, Brooklyn Ray! No, I can't do it right now. Come on, Chooch. Let's go to the shrine and rescue Tiana. Brooklyn Rage. Nah, I fucking... I just don't have it. I don't have it. I can't hear it. This is it. This place gives me the creeps. To be honest, I don't really like being here. Seeing how there's no mage around to stop us, we can assume they're waiting for us. So this is the, sh the, the Sebast shrine or whatever we just passed. Come on, let's go. You just walked. Okay, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you fools to your own funeral. Scram, we got bigger fish to fry. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can sneak one out. Sneak one out against the Labyrinth uh, Mage. Nice. Um, no, actually. Let's, um... Let's just see what he has. The Flame Swordsman! There it is. The Flame Swordsman! No, no, it's not it. Not even close. No way. T H T D, guys. Oh, that's unfortunate. I actually could have had to turn to, you know, Crimson Sunbird. That would have been cool. 2800, I mean, you know, 2800 Crimson Sunbird. That would have been nice. There we go. Thank you. Thank God for this terrible fusion that I just keep keep bringing into the game. Nice. I think we win in two turns. Feeling it. Uh, nah, I'd rather do this. Labyrinth tank, OG card.
God dang, man. At least I got my Quagar Hercules. Nice bug. I raise you bug. And I'll attack with the Hercules just to, to show him what's what. Well, smooth as butter. Frenzied Panda. Oh, dude, that's gonna save us. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the the deck builder. You cannot hope to survive this labyrinth. Look, ignore this guy. Let's move on. <laughs> Go right. Yeah. I can't take much more of this. Go right. Which way now? Go right. I hope you're prepared to meet your ancestors. Oh my god, not you guys again. So what, I just keep playing this guy until I can actually get out? Um, next time I'm going to go left each time. And if that doesn't do it, then uh, I'm going to fucking Google it. But it's definitely really funny if uh, there's actually some pattern I'm supposed to know somehow. Mm, let's just do it. Let's just drop the bug. Oh my god, Kate Guardian instantly. <laughs> instantly summons Kate Guardian. I don't have anything for it, so I'm, I'm done. Um, so. Oh my god. Is there. Is there like. Am I actually supposed to beat this guy before I get. Um, all the Millennium items? That's kind of my. That's my, my question, really. I know I should have just like whatever milled for a dark hole I'm just not double gate guardian I'm just not going to um, cool oh I didn't even look at the cards sorry guys I didn't even look at the cards if I'm being honest take me out Sato and Haishen, my masters will be pleased. Mwa ha 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 ha. Whatever, dude. Not an issue. So, I'm glad that we tried that out. Let's give it a shot to see if we can... Um, that went pretty smoothly, so I actually do want to try and give Forest Mage another shot and see if we can actually just defeat the High Forest Mage. Not that it matters. Not that I'm going to farm any of these other characters other than the ones that we have right now, which is, like, hysterical. It's like, no, I'm only going to farm, like, yes, if I can get to Seto, I think I farm him um, a second time or whatever. Like, or, you know, I'm sorry. I think if we get to Seto second, I think I farm him, maybe. Um, but I don't, I don't think that I farm... Uh, Many of these other characters? I don't know. I'll find out later. Okay, this isn't meadow. This is forest, but it's fine. Welcome to the forest shrine. Unfortunately, you'll be going no further than this. That's right. This is your final resting place. I'll make sure of that. I love the design for the low mages. They just all have, like, the exact same one and a half foot long chin. It's awesome. This is also my favorite field in the game, for sure. There's something about... Um, there's something about that field that really that really just works for me. Okay, well, I hope we can find Mystical Moon. Okay, I just don't have any plans yet okay. mm -hmm. Hmm. I 
Maybe we just play the same trick one more time and see if we can get away with it twice. Ah, nope. Okay. Good card to lie down. I wonder if I'll be able to actually get through these without trying to do some kind of sneaky... Um, I'm really tempted to just use it now. I wonder if I'll be able to get through these mages without using any kind of sneaky... Um, just having other beast cards, because like right now, obviously, Prevent Rat is like doing a lot. Um, sick. Let's kill the Rabbit Horseman. And he might be able to summon something that can kill the the bug, but I don't really care. God damn, bro. Every card except the one you need, right? Um, let's just drop this. Let's get out of the deck soon, too, please. Nice, Dune Worm. There's a Hercules wheel I can get rid of. And there's another interesting play to do. So let's go this, this, this. So I can change the board now, or I can wait. And I think I'm gonna wait. Okay, I'm gonna guess that this isn't a Hercules beetle. Or I'm sorry, that isn't a, um, you know, yeah, it's not Hercules Beetle, and it's not. So I'll pop this Hercules Beetle. And then I can Mystical Moon the Prevent Rat if we do a field change so I can keep it strong. Or um, I can turn it into a Flaming Cerebrus at any moment if I want to do that. That's also a choice. Yeah, but it just always pisses me off. Every time I fucking get rid of... Every time I get rid of the extra dragon, I get the extra thunder. And every time I have the extra thunder, I only have one dragon. And so on and so forth. Doesn't matter. Let's just start wiping the field. Okay, the field is cleared. Nice, he had a Quagga Hercules too, that's funny. That's also my second strongest card on the field. Okay, here we go. So, I think this is the move. And I think we get out of this, this turn. Tentacle plant, D power, love it. I do know how to S tech. I will try and um, farm some S techs uh, soon because I fucking need to. I just didn't realize how important it was. I didn't realize like, oh, what I need to do is be S teching. I am the ruler of the forest. I am High Mage Anubisius. Here I stand to protect the Millennium Item entrusted to you by Lord Hai Shen. This is where the Millennium Item belongs, and this is where it will remain. This is our destiny to protect the item and the power of our magic. This is one of my favorite designs, for sure. 
Prepare to face my forest deck. Prepare to battle. And prepare to lose. Because he reminds me of the of the low mages, but um, with that badass headpiece. Okay, well, I don't like my chances. But I'll start with that. Although I probably... Oh, man. Oh, man. I probably should have played almost anything else. Just in case I could have kept on to it. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's a card. That is a card. Um, well, there's only one thing to do now. Um, yeah, there's literally only one thing to do now. Is to... One, two... One, two, three, yep. Oh, I didn't mean to do any of that. Yeah, just to throw it all away. Wow, I didn't realize I had a. I didn't. Uh, I was meant. To, I meant to throw more cards away. Everybody, that was my bad. Man, perfectly ultimate grade moth. So this guy's the toughest. I don't know how I'm supposed to think anything else other than the fact that this guy must be the toughest if he's really just whipping out perfectly ultimate grade moth and then buffing it. Thirty-five hundred. I don't think there's anything I can do. I think I actually have to farm Regeki. How the fuck would you beat that card? What's he waiting for? What's he waiting for? Ugh, what the fuck is this asshole waiting for? I mean, there's nothing I can really do, right? And this can't be the only one he's got in the deck. Uh, yeah, I don't even think that helps me. Um, oddly enough. Oh, uh, shit. Let's just play it. Okay. We might have lucked out. Okay. No luck, but it wasn't the worst. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Please, dear God, give me Dark Hole. If you just give me Dark Hole, I might have one card in the deck to help me win. God, just the fuck. Great Moth. Nope, that does kill my labyrinth wall. Well, yeah, and my twin headed. What is this? Oh, it's just a flame server. Thank you. Well, I've done my damage. I've done. I've done my bidding. Jeez, you can't give me a break. Um, I literally need this card, but whatever. I guess, like, why not? Why not just, uh, why not? Ah, so, okay, so with Crimson Sunbird and Mystical Moon, I might have something to do against this deck, but, um, dude, what do you even do? What do you even do against this shit? I think my cousin had perfectly ultimate great moth. It's like it's one of those cards where it's like that's one of those cards where it's like uh, perfectly ultimate great moth is like a secret um, like a secret blue eyes or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was awesome. Just don't play a four thousand attack card, please, and everything's okay for me. Literally everything. If you just don't do that one thing. I mean, I could play Curse of Dragon, but, like, what the fuck? Is that actually what I'm about to do? Uh, I think I'm playing this face down. Do your worst. Neko Gal. 
2,900 attack point to Neko Gao. Yeah, that's really annoying, dude. Well, I hope we get a Thunder. Or else. Nope, we didn't. What can I do against a 2,400 Neko Gao? Nothing. Nothing. I think it's over. Oh, it's over unless... Over unless I get incredibly lucky. Don't you think? I also could have played Umi that turn. Oh, and that might have helped me. That's my bad. Hmm. That's a good card to have, but it's not good enough right now. Okay, let's still just play it and see what we can get out of it. No, that's not good. I think it's over. Damn it. I could actually defend against the Garuzis if I didn't pick the wrong star sign. And I just traded a rock for a rock. What the what the bloody what the bloody fuck guys? Um Okay, I'm gonna do a really wacky move. I'm gonna do a really wacky move. Fuck it. My last chance to try and save the uh, second just save the anything. Hopefully he'll play Forest. Hopefully we'll trade, you know, one card. Like, hopefully all these things will be very simple. Not complicated at all. And there it is. There's the... Oh, what the fuck? God damn it, with this shit. Okay, no, yeah, he, had the, he played the Forest on the field, of course. Fuck, not much I can do about that now. Yeah, not, not, not the most helpful card now. Uh, oh, and Moon doesn't fuck that up, does it? What does Moon fuck up? I'm doing, I'm checking it again, everybody. You give Forbidden Memories Guardian Star Rules. Holy shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got. There's nothing I can do on on. Uh, nothing I can do on Jupiter. Um, Is there another? Um, do I have any more? Uh, <laughs> do I have a single other Umi in the deck? I just don't even know. At this point, I don't even know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? Oh, well. We did our best, boys and girls. And so I bring out the flame swordsman. Oh, yeah, I can't attack swords of revealing light. Well, no dice against the forest, uh, against the forest mage, guys. What do you, you think? Uh, you think we'll have a better chance on Meadow Mage? Oh, Javelin Beetle. Yeah, I was expecting to see more Javelin Beetle. That's the first Javelin Beetle we've seen. Okay, look, he killed us with Neko Cow. I'm not. I'm not really impressed by that either. I'm also sad. That, after that clutch dark hole and everything, you know, like you're not going to get a clutcher dark hole than, you know, than that dark hole. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go challenge the uh, I'm gonna go challenge the the Meadow Mage and see if we can get a see if we can go three for three on losing like a bitch in this uh, session. Back to the campaign, baby. More like Cam Pain P A I N. Leave the shop. It's so funny that, like, just beating these mages alone doesn't do fucking anything. <laughs> you know, like, yes, I know the free duel access is a big deal, and obviously, you know, but, like, you know, Chooch? You won't win this time. He recognizes me. Um, obviously, you know, you, you get the Millennium Items, but that doesn't mean anything, so... It's like old school video games when like actually collecting some meaningless little graphic was the whole point. Okay, uh, let's start out with this. 
Fuck it. Let's just start out with this. So I'm tired of getting so anxious about these, um, you know. Getting two Thunder, getting two Dragons. That's what I get for, like, removing all the types out of my deck. I was like, no more Metal and no more whatever, Robot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay. Oh, almost got it wrong. Huh. Almost got it wrong. Done that before. I will do two Dragons instead of two Thunder, just in case. Very interesting that he did not try to take out my flame Cerebrus. Maybe it had a maybe it had a boost. I don't know. Must have. Give me my Umi, goddammit. I'd trade it if I could. So there's like there's a couple of cards to worry about, right? And they are, um, you know, the judge is really what I'm, what I always get annoyed about with fighting this guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know who? Twin headed thunder dragon? Now, we don't have to do this, but I would love if I get a Flame Swordsman on the... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, jeez. Cheese and rice, everybody. How are you supposed to get an S-Tech against, like, a deck that literally is made to S-Tech you? It's fucking annoying. Uh, sure. Uh, and he only has 3,000 life points. We were almost there, everybody. We were literally just right there. It's so annoying. Sure, play Monster Tamer. Give me my Umi, goddammit. Give me the Umi that I deserve. It's not the Umi I want. It's just the Umi I deserve. Yeah, so if two Umis is somehow not cutting it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's also me being a big wuss. Okay. Round over. Victory. Chooch. Take me to your leader. Well, I'll certainly, if, if by the way, if he drops a good card, we're leaving. I'll I'll redo this if it's a good card. I'm not risking a good card right now after everything we've gone through. Okay, that was I definitely hyped that up improperly. Bottom dweller. I think I'll go forward. So, okay, the forest mage was really hard. I admit, but this guy definitely is the one that creeps me out the most. Our Millennium item is not for you. Prepare to defend yourself. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is a sick card. Too bad. Too bad. Well, we have the card. I just don't like leading with it. You know what I mean? I fucking... Like, what's the point of leading with it? I don't... I don't know the point of leading with it, is what I'm saying. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Now I get to choose again. Thunder or dragon. We'll go dragon. We will save the thunder for the next dragon. Drop a Pluto, even though that's probably the wrong sign to pick against this deck. And then let's go for a whopping 4K. 4,400 life points. Attack my stupid bird, please. Ah, oh, jeez. With the Gate Guardian. This guy's got a Gate Guardian card? Oh, 
fuck, what is even the point when someone whips that out? Um, fuck me, dude. Um, really? Fuck me, like, what do you even do when somebody drops that card? Okay, Dark Hole, let's go. Where is it? It's in the deck, I know it is. Beast Gold Dragon, wonderful. Oh man, the perfect kind of the perfect kind of game to play right before going into some serious some serious uh what's the word? Farmage. The flame swordsman. If I can survive this round, which I can't. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I just got to get a card that's stronger than 4250. Uh, not, I'm not concerned at all. That definitely doesn't raise any red flags. Fucking kidding me. Well, this was a heat check. This was definitely a heat check. And I'm not hot. So let's just do some simple farms. Some simple farms, and then call it one. Call it one knowing that uh, we're still a ways to go. And I tried. I gave it a shot. I know I could just retry and try and retry and try, you know, so that he doesn't pull Gate Guardian round two or whatever, but I'm worried about what else I might see. So, essentially, there's really no point in me going back out until I have multiple 3,500, you know, attack cards is pretty much how I feel. So... Um, let's do some, let's do some shoddy farming. And we don't fuse a single thing. I think that's how you get a sick card off of shoddy. Might have to remove some cards out of my deck and get some stronger ones. Nice. Wait another turn, see what he does. A spell. Nice. Penguin Soldier is one of my favorites. I had that as a kid. The physical, you know, the physical card and all that. Um, we're not gonna do a real fusion, but we will summon the Flame Swordsman. Oh, jeez. Okay, my bad. This guy's not playing. I can get my S tech. This is a very easy fix. Very simple fix. I like that, you know, there's such a forced nuance to winning, um, I don't know, just winning in general in this, um, in this game. Because Are you fucking kidding me? I missed it again and I didn't even see it. Oh my god. Um, oh my god, why did I do that? Holy shit, I'm trolling. Um, but anyway, I like that there's such a forced nuance to how you win, not because I get it or because um, it makes me happy, but because it does, like, make the game... It, it is the game saying, you will not ignore me, you know, if you kind of get what I'm what I'm putting down there. Um, we have to do a fusion. 
Oh god, it's still maybe not strong enough. Now we're good. See if he'll play any other fusions. Maybe might get luck out. Might luck out with some more action, so to speak. Drop Quagar Hercules, perfect card. We need to get that more against these guys. Let's see if let's see if Hercules can do it. Yep, nice. And oh wow, I thought I had a lot more cards. that for now I'm trying to just see how this will affect like the end result how much it'll affect it what the fuck what was that dude what are these cards man I've never seen that card in my life that's awesome I ain't never seen that card in my life okay um, that's our win we should now technically finish with more cards than him And we'll see how that affects our drops. Psychic Kappa, Power D. I still don't know what I'm doing. Let's give another shot. Um, oh, jeez. I still don't know what I'm doing. I mean, it was a pretty terrible... I didn't follow any rules, uh, to put it to put it bluntly, for sure. Jeez, that's a hand. Okay, very strong card. Okay, we uh, we get out by the skin of our teeth. Okay, I'm kind of understanding how I can successfully fuse now a little bit more if I want to do these tech tech wins. And I also see how labyrinth wall is really important with that. I should go see how many star chips I have because I haven't I haven't checked in a while. Uh, I, yeah, I really haven't checked in a while. It's probably gonna kill it. Yeah, there it is. Armored Lizard. Done. A couple of Joey cards. A couple of Joey cards. Mm. Yeah, so I think what I do is I play the Blackland Fire Dragon. And if I want to, I can fuse on up to a Thunder Dragon. But I don't really need to. Unless I want to. See if we can get one more fusion out of him. Wouldn't that be the best? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, yes, I will start to do it just because. Or. The Flame Swordsman. Oh, come on. Really? Armored Zombie? Come on. That's a Flame Swordsman. It's really frustrating when it turns your. Celtic Guardian into an armored zombie instead of a flame swordsman. Dharma Cannon and S Pow. What the fuck? 
Well, I definitely don't know what I'm doing, but I'll take that card just to look at it. Look at that, Dharma Cannon. You think I need him to attack more of my cards for me to get a tech is essentially the, the deal. That's all I'm doing at this point right now. By the way, guys, uh, if you want to turn the video off, turn the video off. All I'm doing right now is teaching myself how to tech shoddy. That's pretty much it. And then once I know how to tech him, I could probably tech like every other you know character in the game, all that nonsense. What the fuck is that card? That dude just played a boulder tortoise. Holy shit. Um, just keep playing stuff in defense that it can't attack. And I'll play stuff. Actually, it can't attack Trent in offense. So I'll keep Trent in offense, I guess. Boulder tortoise. Man, that's crazy. He really played that card. Um, yep. Just keep doing it. Come on. Do something shoddy. I believe in you. Slash. Slash. I swear, if you have me attack, if you attack with the boulder tortoise, it will work just as well. It will go just as smoothly. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Okay, I've got to do this right. Oh, shit. Let me go Mercury. Okay, Mercury was correct. Buku. Mm, let's do it. Boulder Tortoise. Wow, that's impressive. What's so funny about Shoddy is like how Shoddy's deck plays, as well as how, like, Simon Murn's deck kind of plays, is, like, that is genuinely how the game starts. Like, with a deck that bad. Like, you know, they obviously whip out a couple of fusions on you, but, no, their decks suck. Their decks suck. Okay. I think I'll flip over to some other challenger just to see. Hey, another jellyfish. I really like that card, so that's um, honestly awesome. I think I'll switch over to someone else just to see how similar or different I can keep this rhythm. So let me see what Mai's like. Oh, I have three of these? I love this card. Uh, I genuinely like this card, so... Something's coming out of the deck. <laughs> um. So, Wings of Wicked Flame. Don't we have like a fairy that I'm done with? I'm so done with this card. I know I shouldn't be, but I fucking am. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that card. Let's stick to Jellyfish. Ugh. I don't think I do anything with this card, so I'm going all jellyfish. I'm going three jellyfishes. This episode was three big jellyfishes, that's for darn sure. Um, okay, Prevent Rat face down should be good. I can make a Twin Headed Thunder Dragon if I need to, but I shouldn't need to, so. Okay, probably a Harpy's Feather Duster. I rock so hard with this. Just get all my strong beasts up front. Oh, some of these are equips almost certainly. Come on. Okay, we can start fusing for our twin-headed now. 
Oh yeah, now we definitely can. Okay, I think I have to do it. I think I have to do it instantly. Yeah, I have to do it instantly. Oh, fucking she got the jellyfish, so no, I can't fuse for it. Shit. Really? One out of three, you chose that one? Um, let's see her play, like, one more card. Oh, I should have played a dragon, actually. I think I'm going to try and do that one more time. I think I'm going to try and play a dragon and just see if it'll slide under the radar. Nice. Love it. Oh, even better. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, this does put me, like, ahead ahead, but I don't think it's a huge deal. Awesome. She's wasting her healing. That's cool, man. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing... I'm going to keep doing a similar thing to what I just did. And I'll just blow up whatever she places just in case so it doesn't attack. She's got to have like a Harpy's Dragon to, to fuse or to, to play or something, you know. Okay, attack my baby dragon, you asshole. Um, okay, I have to be careful. Um, I'm going to do it the opposite way now. See if I get luckier. Oh, fuse, you dumb hag. There it is. There's the weak bean soldier. You thought you were going to get away with a bean soldier on the field? Come on. Um, let's drop Celtic Guardian. Oh, no. I wish I actually fused him with something. That would have been nice. That would have been nice, but I didn't. Okay, let's give her one more chance to see if she can make a fusion. Nope. She said, I'm not interested. Oh, that was waiting there all along, my. Play this. Do one more big, mean attack. Plays next turn. Nope, nothing. Okay, that's that. Um, that's that. I might be being stupid. Like, I might be throwing this in the toilet by doing this big fusion, but I don't think so. that oh my god I really did I got a D-Tech and I got a jellyfish that's crazy um, what's so funny about that especially to me is like I don't know it's just really it's really interesting this idea of like playing less cards than the goddamn than the CPU, right? Because you'd think, like, the whole entire point of you going up against a CPU would be that you would actually try your darndest to win. I don't know. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, what if I want to kill it first turn? Because I do. So let's just see what happens really quick if we just blow right past her really quick and I'll try and keep I'll, I'll keep the fusions to a minimum so we'll just make that twin head and then everything else will just be a drop yeah we could make another twin head though that's funny 
I'll risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, I assume she doesn't have a 1900. If it doesn't have, um, over, if it doesn't have over 1900 attack, I have a hard time believing it has that much defense at this point, which is like a really weird take. But it's like, anyway, it doesn't. I'm not. I'm not gonna explain myself. My bold theories. See, like just 1800, 800. Like, yeah, it's just kind of. It's kind of the math. It's kind of how the math's mathing, if you ask me. Fifteen hundo, and then another fifteen hundo. So I took some damage. We fused one card. Two, I mean two cards, really. Mystic Horseman. Ooh, okay, now we're getting cards. Let's try this one more time. This is so weird. I, oh my god, it's kind of bothering me. I don't know how to describe how I've changed my play style any more than pulling my head out of my ass and trying. And it's like, it's very video gamey. It's like in life, you kind of shut down and you slow things down and you try and process less. And you, man, that's not everybody, but some people really, their goal is to just be processing less. Um, and I don't have any problem with people who are trying to process more. I just point out the obvious, which to me, this is obvious, which is it's clearly a fucking burden to try and use your brain. A brain's a bit of a burden if you think about it. Um, and if you don't see it that way, that's great. I think you've got a wonderful lease on life, but some people can see that the human mind has its challenges. And so um, it's really funny to me that I don't know how I would describe controlling the starship system more than, like, yeah, I can say, like, you play this way, you make less fusions, but it's more, it's like, no, just play Yu-Gi-Oh! like you would actually play Yu-Gi-Oh!, you know? Um, there's something that's not real about, like, oh, I'm just gonna fuse this and fuse that, and, you know, like, there's something about that that just isn't real. So, anyway, I just think that's funny. Wow, big insect. What a card. What a statement card. Let's see if the water can get us out of one more turn with uh, keeping the Spike Seeker alive. And I'm interested to see how this one fuse per turn kind of goes in terms of helping me either get more star chips or get a tech or a pow or whatever. Beautiful. I'm hoping that Quagar Hercules can just take this out and then we can go face. Love it. You forget that too. Like, I, you know, my memory is like is what you see and so you constantly see the profile pictures the avatars whatever you want to call it for these characters and so it's so funny to see um to play the decks again and realize like oh this isn't my deck this is just some you know who knows how you'd even describe what this is you know and i think that's that yep okay let's see what they'll give us because we did get hit, so I, I guess we're not getting an S, is my assumption. We got an A, got a two-headed King Rex. That's not bad, it's just not a card we want now. Um, okay, let's try a character who drops cards that are worth a shit. Um, that's great, let's try Meta Mage. Let's see if I can do a little spicy gameplay against Meta Mage and, and um, help us do better. Um, yeah. I need the card, but I don't need it in my hand. Yep, and I, and I do need him to do that, because what we're playing next turn... What we're playing next turn... Um, we are just going to rush out the Flame Swordsman. I could view this as a waste of a fusion, though. Like, it's like, you know, I'm, I only get one or two fusions per hand or game, whatever you want to call it, you know, assuming that's what I'm trying to do. And you could, you could say that the Flame Swordsman is almost undeniably a waste of a fusion. Almost undeniably a waste of a fusion. Um... Just see what happens. 
Nice, Flame Swordsman. I feel really comfortable risking Ice Water, if you kind of get what I'm saying. Nice, yep, worked out. Um, so let's do this. And now, we have it done a billion kajillion summons, really. And we just send it all face. He's obviously got cards stronger than Flame Swordsman, but who knows if we'll see him. Because next turn, it should be over. Nice. Um, yeah, let's just drop the Snake Hair. Let's just drop the Snake Hair and bring it all home. I was so freaking concerned that that was the Millennium Shield. Bring it on home. This should be like an S pow. Seriously, come on. I, I flip and read the game's mind for Christ's sake. I could have done it a little bit better. Ah, oh, great, another dome of the Angel of uh, Silence. That was an S pow. Um, just because we got a card that we already have, I'm gonna do it one more time and then and then I'll call it. And I'll stop making these so long. I really will. It's not my intention. It's just kind of what happens. It's just kind of what happens. Um, you know. And it's also just the nature of the beast. Because all I'm going to do is just farm. Like, I'm not going to... I don't know. I don't know what else to say. But I'm not going to um, farm off screen. And then come back to you with a laundry list of what I got. Although that might be how I record this. If I were to do it again. You know. In the future, so to speak. Um, but anyway. Try and see if we can sneak a ice water one more time. Oh, that was incredible. We got rid of the Empress Judge with our Hercules. Um, try and see if we can sneak an Ice Water one more time. I assume our Hercules is dead. Oh, nope. But the Ice Water is just fine. I'm going to play one Dragon on the field and see if we can survive one turn and, and uh, pull something out of our butts. That's tied, right? That's like two 1900 monsters. Yeah. Uh, okay, I have to. I don't have to do it like that, though. I could do it like that. Yeah. And then this way, we can just do the swaps and hold the rest of our fusions. Let's see if he'll play anything interesting. Yeah, what are these cards that like this this uh this beetle is just uh unstoppable. Nice. Suicide by Sogan, I love it. Um if I have an Umi, I'll literally make him play another turn. But I don't, so. Oh! I've gotta summon it just because I can. I love the card. The flame swordsman. I love the card way too much. Okay, everybody, what is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Please name an OG one, although if you want to name a newer one, that's cool. I just won't give a shit. But I like the Flame Swords, and I'm a bit of a Joey at heart. That's all. That's all I have to say about that. Mizuruzumami! So that's a decent card, and we have two of them. So um, that's definitely something I could consider throwing in the deck if uh, if I can make it work. I just don't know. Um, where was the other fish we got? this uh, session. Oh, I swear we got some other fish this session that was ridiculous. I swear. I guess you really do play that many games, don't you? Oh, no. It was because uh, we won it before we uh, lost. We got Bottom Dweller and then the game, whatever, crapped out. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Take care.